Moonscape Grand Prix at the Moonscape Circus here. Host of our fifth race of the first ever season of Glass Car 2020. Keanu Brisky, glad to be here with you for our commentary and our fifth race of the season. Qualifying here at the Moonscape Circuit. A little bit different, as you'll see, the self-propelling system is in place yet again, but a little different uh, in the way that the marbles will react to that system, which should hopefully give us... Uh, hopefully we won't have a, any kind of issues with any of the marbles uh, wrecking. That was a, an issue that was brought up in our last race. Of course, Volcano had an issue that uh, ultimately cost them any chance. As you look at our standings overall for the championship, it is Rattlesnake, Nitro, Canarium coming off the win, Angel, and Volcano, the top five. Volcano going to have to rebound after that poor race last time. As you can see, there is the new element, that green ramp down will allow these marbles to hopefully gain some momentum coming up that large wall. And our first chance, chance to try it out is going to be Nitro coming through turns one and two. And now up through that propelling system and it looked like it actually may have missed that green arrow. The green arrow is there on the ramp, which might slow down Nitro. Came across that first timer at a 9772 the last couple of corners and across the finish line for the time of 22-141. And let's have a look at the replay. Yep, completely missed that ramp. Looked like it actually hit some of the extra sighting there. Here's Black Shadow up next. Who turns one and two now. Up to the propelling system and it looked like, I think Black Shadow may have missed it as well. A little more speed though it seemed, and three tenths of a second better at the first scoring pylon for Black Shadow. We'll hope to keep that speed up now through the final turn, and across the finish line with a time of 21.772, better by 36 hundredths of a second to take the lead. Let's have a look at the replay, and Black Shadow just barely caught the bottom of that ramp. If you can time it well and just get the right amount, uh, amend excuse me, amount of momentum than an opportunity to really gain some speed there. Let's see what Pacifica can do. Pacifica got some speed up into the chicane there, and it was a six-tenths of a second back of the leader at that point. That's the slowest time through that first scoring area, and across the line for Pacifica, a time of 22-171, which will be three hundredths of a second slower than Nitro and third out of the three to qualify and again a complete miss this is going to be a feel thing for these marbles trying to figure out where exactly they need to land how much speed they need to take up into that propelling system in order to put themselves in the best spot here is Rainforest coming down and through and over a second slower than Black Shadow we've seen in the past some of these marbles as the track gets more and more worn and a little warmer with more heat from these marbles coming off, uh, that it has cost them. Those that were running at the beginning were running slower times. However, Black Shadow ran second. They're still fastest as Rainforest takes over second and Ivory will now run. Tough to see how much contact was made there with the ramp after. Yeah, it looks like a slow lap here for Ivory, but now trying to pick up some speed coming across the line. It'll be a time of 21.670, oh, and look at that. It looked like for a moment Ivory wasn't moving as fast as needed, but Ivory's going to end up taking the lead for the moment, and some hard contact at the bottom of that ramp may have actually propelled Ivory to gain some speed there. Here's Rock Slide as Ivory takes over the pole position. Rock Slide. Oh, nice move by Rock Slide. Very solid contact with that ramp, and let's see if it ends up being helpful. That's obviously, you would think, the hope for these marbles is that if you can make good contact and in a good spot with the ramp, then it can help you propel forward, and that time will be a 21-471, and it is enough for Rock Slide to take the lead. Let's have a look at a very well-executed ramp. Not the best, but much better than we've seen from any of the other five marbles to go. Rock Slide is the new pole sitter. Here's Canarium, who took the pole and won the race from the lead position at another good contact with that green ramp 
coming down after you make that large trek up the wall. And Canarium trying to bring speed yet again. Maybe be a two-time winner. Here it is across the line. Oh, look how close that is! One one-thousandth of a second. Rockslide is going to retain the lead for just a moment. And another good job of momentum building with that exit of the ramp there. As Penguin will be the new marble on the course. That's a heartbreaker for Canarium. To lose out on, for the moment, the pole position by just one one-thousandth of a second. Had to gain that speed toward the end of the course. Was off by about a tenth of a second to begin with as Penguin... Makes it through the final turn. We'll come across the line slower by 7 tenths of a second. That is the slowest time. Penguin runs a 22-201. Let's see if there was an issue there. It looked like uh, you could see that plastic piece on the side, a barrier on the side of the ramp. A little bit of contact there for Penguin with that part. Here is Angel, who won the closest race in the brief history of Glass Car. 12 thousandths of a second at the Oval. And right now, pretty on pace. Three thousandths off the pole right now. That's Rock Slide at a 21.471. Angel's going to come across that final turn and through with a time of 21.602. That'll be good enough for third. A little more than a tenth of a second off the pace of the leader. You can see the spinning and... Yeah, you know what? If Angel had been able to get that right momentum, which is going to be something that during this race you're going to have to learn to do, may have had a chance at the pole. Here's Volcano. Volcano really needs a better run this time. A very hard uh, learning curve for Volcano and our first race at the Moonscape Circuit. Ended up not finishing, came off the course after hard contact with the plexiglass, but was about to be lapped anyway. Let's see what he does in terms of time. It'll be the slowest time, over a tenth of, or excuse me, over a full second slower than the pole sitter right now. That's Rock Slide. And. Four tenths of a second slower than the next marble. So really, Volcano starting to struggle here despite being top five in the points. Here's Dragon's Tail. Dragon's Tail looks like completely missed that exit ramp. And we'll see if that costs. But right now, Dragon Tail, Dragon's Tail is in pole position as they came across that scoring area. Let's see, coming through that final turn. Is it gold for Dragon's Tail? It is. 21 Zero seven two and Dragon's Tail with just one marble left is now in the pole position. I don't think Dragon's Tail made any contact yet, not even close to making contact with that exit ramp, which has clearly been a challenge. And now here is Rattlesnake, the points leader, is the final marble to go. We'll have an opportunity, the last opportunity at the pole, and again, no contact there. Coming out of the turn up against the chicane, a little slow. Tenth of a second back of the leader right now. Dragon's Tail trying to hold on, get the pole. Almost full four tenths of a second faster than the next closest marble. It will be a pole. 22-0-0-2. We'll put Rattlesnake in eighth, and Dragon's Tail will start from the pole at the Moonscape Circuit for the fifth race of the season. So some different uh, strategies being played out there. Some of them worked, some of them didn't. Dragon's Tail will start first, Rock Slide second, Canarium by one one-thousandth of a second will end up starting third, Angel fourth, Ivory fifth, Black Shadow, Rainforest, Rattlesnake, Nitro, Pacifica, Penguin, and all the way back to Volcano. As that starting grid is now set for the fifth race, which will be here at the Moonscape Circuit. And it should be yet another entertaining, exciting race that ramp there is going to cause maybe some issues as you'll have a bunch of marbles going through that self-propelling system up the wall all at once and potentially some hard contact hopefully no incidents and we hope that everybody will be able to make it through this race today and hopefully provide more entertaining content so until next time we are getting ready for race five of glass car 2020 2020 we hope to see you then i'm keanu bitterzicki and thanks for watching marble fubica <laughs>